Hello, I'm here uh, with Joe. He's doing the rail course. Uh, two versions here at the show, different heights. Uh, what can you tell us about the project? How it came it about? So it came about by uh, the Railcore Lab team before they were the Railcore Lab team. They, uh, they, there was two guys who, who met each other online and decided they wanted to build an awesome 3D printer. And then uh, they showed it at Murph and they had a lot of interest and then realized that other people wanted it. So uh, I, I approached them saying that I loved it and I would help if they needed help with it. And then we met on September 29th of last year and on the 8th we sent out our first printer for a review and within a month we had our first batch out and then it just took off we were expecting us to sell 40 units and stop and we sold 400 this year so far so it just it ramped up like crazy um and we started offering the zlts and the zls we have fully assembled we brought on a reseller now we we work with uh phyllis Schroeder. uh we work with other companies we brought a lot of um uh, like community companies together to get this done. We had 713 Maker for a while. We have Mandela Roseworks that makes a bunch of parts for our printers. Um, and we just try to make make some awesome printers that can do some awesome things. And what stands us apart is our, our bed leveling. We use a Mike 6 plate that we know is as flat as we can get. And then we use a three point bed leveling. And the bed truly levels itself because it's got three independent lead screws running the, off the Duet Wi-Fi. And we can get the deviation before a print down to 0 0.003 millimeters across the entire bed, which allows us to print 0 0.02 millimeter layer heights consistently uh, upwards of 150 millimeters a second. So we're able to maintain really high speeds and really high accuracy. Yeah, awesome. And, and you have like the best, like a modular system. There's a Mosquito on, on this one and a E3D on, on this one. So it's a combination of, of hot ends and, and parts people can use? Absolutely. So we have a lot of options. And that's one reason why we brought on Phyllis Scooter. And we were so glad that they were willing to uh, resell our kits because now you have options of a Mosquito, Mosquito Magnum, V6 uh, for hot ends. Then you can bring your own hot end as well. Another option is linear rails. You can go with the Masumi really high end linear rail. Or you can get like, uh, we also have Zeltec rails, which are like a Chinese knockoff rail but they're not the greatest but they get you by and they get you started and then uh that's your options there for boards now we have the duet wi-fi the duet wi-fi with our the duet wi-fi with the external antenna and the duet ethernet are now all options so and then you have the two sizes as well so and then also phil shooter started carrying all of the indela roseworks parts as well which they make uh, idler mounts, stepper motor mounts. Uh, they make our Z yokes, our X carriages, and our uh, our L brackets for our ZLT, and the, they're an add-on option for the L brackets and the Z yokes are an add-on option for the ZLs. Yeah, cool. So there's a lot of modularity in the in the system itself. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah it's turned in pretty much the uh, uh, quote-unquote Barbie printer, to where you just accessorize to your little heart's desire. <laughs> Yeah, awesome. Thank you very much. And I li Thanks like what you're doing. Us. It's one of my, I want this stuff printers yeah. <laughs> when I have space and, and money for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, space becomes a, a problem when you have a printer this size. Yeah.